Hey guys, I'm Pascal from Orange Pixel and I want to talk about creating trailers for your game because I'm in the middle of promoting my game so I need a trailer for my game and I figured why not combine it with giving you tips on how I do it and just showing you but um, I do want to do this in the most professional and serious way so let's 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 really really make this a serious thing actors are you ready light ready camera ready audio everybody ready all right let's go let's do this episode 70 intro scene take five action It? Is that the city we needed to find? Yes, that's where the Black Dark Army is. We need to find them and defeat them. All right, let me load my guns. I'm ready. Let's do this. All right, let's do this. Right now I'm promoting my game or working on the promotion part of my game and for that I needed a trailer. So um, this is just gonna be a little step by step how I created that trailer and also some tips and tricks that I picked up over the recent years that I've been creating trailers for my games. Um, it's not the, the only way to create trailers and it's probably not the best way to create trailers but it's just my workflow and how it works for me and maybe there are some tips there for you as well. So let's just start at the first step which is um, recording gameplay. Basically I just start the game like anybody would, like any gamer would. I play through the game except I record everything I do. So um, that just gives me a base of, of, of footage, some, some gameplay elements, some interface navigations, everything is in there. Um, I do this two times or three depending on how big the game is and how much there is. For this one I did two takes so I recorded two gameplay sessions in various stages of the game. Later I'll be recording more footage but then it will be more specific on if I need specific things in the game like showing a certain action or showing a certain area. I'll record all that later right now I just need some base footage that we can drop in the editor and start working with. Now the first tip when you're recording gameplay sessions don't record game audio. Well, do record the sound effects, just not the music. Make sure you turn off the music because you're gonna cut up this footage later for the trailer and having music playing, it will cut up the music and mess up the music. So the music is added on top later. Just record it with sound effects, but make sure the music is turned off. That's probably a beginner mistake and I made it in the past and I sometimes forget when doing these gameplay sessions, but make sure you remove all the music because it's gonna mess up your trailer a lot. So that's the main tip here. Maybe I just skipped a few steps. Um, recording the screen, I do it with ScreenFlow, which is on Mac only. You can probably use any type of tools for that. Uh, Windows, there's a lot more options for you, but on Mac, uh, I tried a bunch of them, and ScreenFlow was the only tool that actually manages to record the game at 60 frames per second. All the other programs uh, really made slow down versions of the game, or made the game slow down and play awkward and awful. And uh, ScreenFlow is the only thing on Mac that really works. It's paid software, but it's, it's well worth it. You can record everything that's happening on your screen. And then later I use the editing software DaVinci Resolve, which is a free version and a paid version. The free version basically does everything I need. I've been using it for all these weekly development vlogs. I've been learning a lot of it. it it's very easy to use. It's comparable to things like Adobe Premiere and stuff like that. So those are the two tools I use to create the trailer and um, besides that I just have a library of sound effects which I probably need and there will be some music which will be the game music and all that combined should end up with a great trailer. Uh, the first thing I did for this was just 
watch a lot of trailers, uh, games, movie trailers, uh, various things out there. Just just get some inspiration, get some ideas going and see what fits with the style of your game. In this case, although Gunslugs is an action game, there is also a lot of uh, slow paced movements and actions and stealth. And so I really want an action trailer, but still showing the tactical and stealth side of it. So that's a little bit hard to do, but we're gonna try our best anyways. And, um, this is the result of that first editing phase. So my goal with this trailer is to show um, the tactical side of it, the stealth side of it, and well, basically all the special stuff in the game. So I do have a lot of gameplay footage now, but it's very generic. It's very uh, basically what you encounter on a single run, but there are a lot of things in the games that you won't see on every single run. So I'm gonna have to force the game code to generate those things and then I can record it and then have very specific footage, which is just now the key part, uh, which footage do I need? So I make a little list of the things I want. So the stealth actions, the sabotage, the hiding, the, the actions of the explosions, the blowing up stuff, the, well, everything I can come up with that is interesting for the game. That's what I'm gonna record right now and then combine it all into a single trailer and the goal for the trailer is to be around a minute that's I don't know why but that's a general rule for trailers because people have a very short attention span so you don't want to create a trailer that's five minutes nobody's gonna watch it um, just about a minute or maybe two minutes that's that's really what a trailer should be and many smarter people decided on that so I'm just gonna stick with it and not gonna argue with it because creating a trailer of one or two minutes is already a lot of work All right, so now we have a lot of stuff in there. We have the opening, we have the logo, we have um, flashcards or title, uh, title treatments, whatever you call them, a little information bullet points. And I know not everybody is a fan of those things, but uh, my game doesn't have a lot of spoken dialogue. In fact, it has no spoken dialogue. So without these title treatments, it would basically be a lot of footage without explanation. And I just want to give some hints uh, here and there. Also, you can pause a video and a trailer and you can watch it over and over. So if you miss something, you just watch it again, which is really what I'm aiming for. I really hope people do watch the trailer again and again, just to find new stuff and new things and become more interested in the game. Editing wise, I'm not doing very much. I'm just uh, really cutting them very close to just the action. And here and there, I do a little zoom in or a zoom out. Nothing fancy, nothing special. Um, no special effects added or anything, because I really want to show what the game is about and not so much what my video editing software can do. So that's basically a draft of the trailer done. Um, right now we need to improve a bit on the titles. I'm not happy with them just yet. They don't really fit into it all. There's something missing somewhere and I'm just gonna watch it over and over and change things a little bit until I am happy. Another thing I have to do is uh, tighten the cuts. So basically, uh remove all the fluff that isn't interesting. So if I have my character walking from left to right just to do an action at that point, maybe I can cut that walking scene a little bit so that we don't have to watch him walk all the time, but just start here and there. Um, that's very action oriented, which is really what I was going for. If you want a slower trailer and showing more of the gameplay uh, for a more serious game or strategy game, then I can imagine you do want to have all those things in your trailer for my type of games, which uh, even if it's a slow paced game, there is still action in there. I just want to have it fast. I like fast action trailers. I don't know why, but I do like them. And that's the type of trailer I'm creating here. So I'm gonna cut all these little scenes wherever I can and cut out st stuff that isn't really needed or uh, just isn't adding much to the whole uh, feeling of the trailer or to the whole pace of the trailer. And I'm also gonna be replacing some of the clips because um, I'm not happy with some of the clips, like the first clip, the opening clip is pretty interesting, pretty cool, pretty uh, the stuff exploding, the character, and you can really see some tactics going on there. But when I was playing this session, I picked up the Viking helmet before doing that part. And right now you just see a guy with a Viking helmet and you have no idea why. It's not very identifiable to one of the main heroes. So I need to get some new footage where I don't have a helmet on his head. and. 
do almost the same type of things. Alright, so that first clip is now replaced with something almost as similar, almost the same. Um, it gives the same sense of vibes and it just looks a little bit better. So I did this trailer two days ago, then I took a little break and then I slept and then uh, the next day I looked at the trailer again with some fresh eyes just to see if I was still happy with it and I wasn't. There were a few things that I just wasn't happy with. Um, the main thing I wasn't happy with was the music. Uh, the music is great in the game, it doesn't work so much in the trailer. For the game I wanted this quiet background music that, that gives, gives a little tension, but for the trailer I need a little bit more of an action punch uh, to it, a little bit more of a rhythm, so I need to replace the music. Luckily I found a site that had a lot of music because uh, there was just not enough time to have music made for this. I, I'm, Gavin is a great guy doing all the music for my games, but I don't think he could have pumped out a great tune for the trailer within a day or less than that. So I've been looking around on uh, the internet, found a great site, I'll give a link to in the description below. It has a great amount of tunes and music in there. I contacted a guy, I donated something for the, for the song. Uh, the bonus of this music is that it also had certain steps and breaks and, and pumps in the music that I could use to just put clips on it. So it, it, it fits even better with the clips and uh, the end result is pretty cool. And I'm, I'm much happier with this music than the game music in the trailer because I'm much happier with the game music in the game and the trailer music in the trailer and anyway um, that's it for now if you want to see the trailer make sure to check gunslux.com or the discord channel I'll, I'll be posting it there or might have already posted by the time you watch this video hey, that's it for this week's video I hope you liked it if you have any questions on this whole process of trailer creations or if I wasn't clear on certain things or whatever let me know in the comments below and i'll uh, get a reply to you as soon as possible and i'll see you guys next week bye <laughs>